also destroys our education, dishonors our history, and divides our people. But the good news is life was not like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. You know, I can't entirely keep that promise because he might be gone, be gone before I arrive. There's talk of him heading the road real soon, eh? Do you hear about that by-election in Toronto? People in Toronto voted because he's not worth the cost. They wanted common sense conservatives instead. And ever since... Justin Trudeau has been in panic mode. He's not here at the stampede, is he? Nobody's seen him around. Is anybody missing him? <laughs> but don't feel offended, Calgary, that Justin Trudeau is hiding from you. He's actually hiding from his own caucus. <laughs> terrified to meet with the people who are supposed to be his greatest supporters. Soon, you can imagine a caucus meeting of the NDP liberals in a phone booth with just Jag and Justin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Justin's in a lot of trouble now, eh? As Maggie Thatcher said, the problem with socialism is eventually you run out of other people's money, right? And so now his MPs, who literally didn't care about the fact that their constituents couldn't eat, heat, or house themselves, they got home and they said, this election is going to eventually happen, whether we like it or not, and we're all going to be out of a job. And so we need to get ourselves a new leader because everyone is re realizing that while the emperor has many costumes, he has no clothes. 